wonder what this video is about. Hello. Sometimes we think that professional development might be a little too slow. <sighs> Don't you wish that you could somehow speed up people talking to you? Definitely. And boring. giving you directions. And this plugin right up here is a nifty little thing to help people who are in professional development and the speaker goes too slow safely. Or sometimes we are auditory learners and we people are talking way too fast for us and if we're second language learners and people are sometimes are speaking in too too fast of a language maybe you want to slow them down so here's a great little tip this little plugin right up there it's called global speed now i know the chrome web store is going away but if you can install it before it goes away, Global Speed's a nifty little tool. And I kind of demonstrated it how it works right there. You kind of click on the speed you want it to go, and it'll change the speed of the video. Now, one of the nifty things I use it for is to watch videos and speed through commercials. So you can go and step it up or step it down as you feel fit. Also, at no extra charge right now, I'm going to show you how to use MyBib. MyBib is another nifty tool. Um, uh, obviously, we can't install it here from the Google Workplace Marketplace, but you can quickly, easily go to MyBib.com. MyBib.com is a nice, no ads way to create bibliographies. You can see here I've done it with all my other students and all my different periods, and I can arrange them in folders and you can see how many different entries they've done as well. So students can share with you theirs. You can organize things into uh, different folders. Um, they can also change the different styles for free without having all the different pop-up ads. And as well, um, they can download their works cited into a um, Google Doc. And it will also go directly to the website that they had. And you can also get an in-text citation. So those are kind of some nifty little extra tools. You can copy that and then they can paste it into their research project. Let me show, how, show you how that works. All I need to do is hit add citation and enter in the type of citation. Since a lot of students are just using websites, you just use a website. So say for example, I go public media and say we wanted to do something about this lead poison. So I can copy that link and I will paste it in here. It'll search for it and it will pull a lot of the metadata that's already in that page. Then I can click on the next site. Now they want, if it doesn't have the information because it's too new, then I can add the information in. So I'll have to go back here, find the web page author, and find Niara Savage and Allison Kite. So students will have to find that information in there. Next. And then they're going to be asked to follow it, fill in any extra information. They can also add in an annotation there at the bottom, and it will automatically format it as well as alphabetize it in the bibliography. So those are my two plugins. So global speed and my bib. Hope that helps.